how I'm going to say it, that's a man. You a dude. Okay? You're transgender, whatever you identify as, you have the equipment. Born, born with that equipment. And you utilize this equipment. Hey everyone, it is a beautiful morning when I'm recording this podcast, but you know, whenever you choose to listen to me and join me, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, late at night, it doesn't matter. I appreciate the likes, the looks, the listens, and of course, I would appreciate you hitting that subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. Of course, do that if you want to, no pressure, though I would like the algorithm to swing in my favor. You're probably looking at me saying, why are you wearing sunglasses inside the studio? Because you know what? It's chill time. It's always chill time. Anyways, besides that, I came across something very interesting about uh, inmates at an all-females prison, correctional facility in the beautiful state of New Jersey, the Garden State. This person here, they got two inmates pregnant. You heard me right. It's an all-female correctional facility. It wasn't a male correctional officer. You know, you would think that would happen. No, it was a transgender female that had relations with two other female inmates, and they got pregnant because this inmate identifies as a woman. I was thinking about just saying that and leaving it there, mic dropping this do my outro but this is where we at <laughs> this is this is where we at that's a man you a dude okay you're transgender whatever you identify as you have the equipment born born with that equipment and you utilize this equipment in probably one of the, the most opportunistic experiences and and situation that you possibly can you're not a woman, you're a man. I care not what people would say or think because I'm going to call it how it is. I'm not going to condone destructive behavior. You know, I had a talk with one of my friends oh, a good while ago, once in a while. We talked about this whole movement with the uh, LGBTQ community. And it will be, wouldn't be exactly uh, a dramatic or flared discussion, but it was often perceived by my my friend my counterpart that you know whenever i talk to someone especially someone of faith they feel like they have so much hate for no it's not hate for the person it's just that we see what is going on and we see what's going to happen we see the long-term ramifications this is years ago and fast forward to now we have situations like this we also have situations like they're looking to pass bills, make it legal for your child without your consent or even control to learn sexual orientation and sexual predicaments. Again, as a parent, if this thing passes, you have no say. So now we have society, lawmakers removing your rights as a parent, men posing as women doing things that men do, but society accepts this. I'm not going to go too much further than it. I've said everything that I need to say on this. Um, you can look it up on here. It's, I thought it was something from the onion. The onion is a world renowned parody site, but I looked it up all over the place and yeah, trans prisoner, 27 years old, female, you're a man, you're a dude. You got two women pregnant. You're a dude. That's all there is to it. Anyways, you want to listen to more of my content, you can go to my website at brooklynbaritone.com. You can go check out some more merch. I have merch there, something there for everyone. You can check out my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm also on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. You could find my podcast on, well, wait, go back. I'm on Instagram and on my Facebook. Then we go forward to where you can find my podcasts on. You can find the audio version of these podcasts on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music under podcast. 
I also air four times a week on local Brooklyn cable television on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Verizon, Optimum, RCN, and Spectrum. Thank you guys for listening. What you got to ponder on things that's going on. Um, don't have hate in your heart. Just like, you know, look to stamp out things that don't make sense and don't condone with the upliftment and positive building of all of us. Anyways, walk good. Be blessed. I'm out.